Hello and what's up everybody, this is P. Sherman from Speed Academy and in today's video we will be working with the pseudo selectors and pseudo sector if you are on I think you all are familiar with these selectors I have made the previous video and which is very very detailed in which I have told you about the pseudo sector attributes and many more and if you have not watched that tutorial you can just click over the eye icon over there over the top right corner and you will find the video on the selectors so let's just talk about the pseudo selector and we are working with the target pseudo selector in this video this type of pseudo selector will help you to target the different div tags or you may say different elements uh, by the use of the id okay guys I, let me just show you with the help of an example then it will be better for you to in understanding so i'm gonna create a uh, just let's just create a linking id for example I'm just naming a class like linking id and i can create uh, a href okay guys and i'm just naming it id1 hashtag id as you all know that uh, if we are not assigning any value to the href then we will put by default the uh, your hash sign but uh, your target is uh, using the ID over here because the target so like to use ID for targeting the different elements or diff tag over here so I'm just using as you all know that ID is also started with the hash value so you can use the anchor tag over here for target for using the IDs for targeting any of the different elements or tags whatever you want I'm just giving a name and ID1 for example okay and similarly I can just you know write anything for example i can write welcome and okay that's enough and i can just write one more thing mm, let's just add one more thing to take over here and let's just give it id2 and welcome to speed academy for example i'm just doing nothing i'm just doing the same basic stuff now let's just create a one more class because this is the class in which you have linked to the IDs. Okay, you have uh, assigned the IDs. Not assigned the IDs means you have just uh, assigned the value of the anchor tag that if we click on these links, then we will uh, it will going to redirect to uh, this IDs. I will show you. Okay, let me just uh, cover right, type the code first, and I will uh, show you in the uh web browser what this actually working with we are working with so uh this is your target id okay first is your linking and this is your target so for targeting id you have to write something like your care less id1 because i'm gonna you have assigned the value of id1 over here so i have created a div with the id as like this and just if i uh let me just type something where I can just type lower end of five and similarly I'm just changing an ID two and lower end of thirty for example. Oh yes no I just type it fifteen only. Okay. Oh so, let me just change it to token block wrap. Okay. Right. Now it will be good. And you are already familiar with this. Let me just show you the output first, okay? That's how we are working with <coughs> how this all will work <coughs> so guys you can see i have the two anchor tag over here okay let's just uh okay so let's for we will add it later on okay? you can see we have two anchor tag over here in my output let's just jump it out for a better view you can see i have created two anchor tag first is your welcome and second is your two speed academy See if I just click over this, you can see over here in my output that it is just showing me that it is going to target my ID 1. And if I just click over the Speed Academy, it will going to target my ID 2. Okay, now I will show you how it will going to work. So let's just go over in the styling part and I will use to do and just watch the styling part over here. Okay, for that uh, I have a link of my styling. Okay, let's just do the basic stuff first. And your padding and your box sizing, your box, okay. <coughs> and now I'm gonna 
what I have done, I have created a linking ID and target ID. Okay, I'm creating my linking ID here, linking ID, and I'm just giving a font size of your, I guess, 25 pixels, more than enough, and let's just give it a color of. Hey, wait, first thing, let's just give it a background of something, huh? body background. Let's change the body background first. I uh, just don't like that background yet. Okay. And I'm just linking ID over here. And what next is your. Okay. Nothing over there. Nothing to do with. And what I can do, I can just write like this, and I can just uh, text decoration. Not very none. And your. Okay, that's enough. I guess. Let's just save it. Okay, now it's looking good. But I want my these two of the elements to in different lines, so I'm just putting the tag over here, and now they are in separate line. Okay, now it's looking good. Let's just give it a background to them also. I'm giving a background of yellow and color of red. It's not working. Okay, sorry. Not color of red over here. We have to specify the color in the anchor value because we have assigned the anchor to it. Okay, now it's looking good. <laughs> so now what I want to, I have done, uh, I'm just working with the styling part away. Okay, and now you can see in my HTML over here, we have, sorry, uh, two of our IDs, ID1 and ID2. So what I want that if I just click over this and so it will going to just yeah, target your ID1. So how it will going to target? For that we have a sudo selector named the target. So then how it works? Let me just show you. Uh, first, let me just uh, grab my target first. I'm not just working with the uh, sudo selector first. I'm just grabbing my target ID here, and I can just write that. Uh, let's just give it a margin of uh, 50 pixels and. Not display sparing of five pixels and font size of 15 pixels, I guess. Will be really fine. Hey, okay. now you can see we have just two different two here, and let's just get a B A tag over here. Hey, okay. now you can see the uh, difference between this. This is the first ID one, and this is our ID two. Uh, you will not be finding it that you know, how it is looking like so <coughs> for now I'm just giving it I'm just targeting my ID one over here okay you can see uh, if I just go here and let's target my ID like this a target and they can light like background for example yellow grain you can see it is just turn over here But let me show you the first. Uh, hey, it is it is one, and the second one is your ID two. This is targeted also. The background of any, for example, not like that. For example, red, and your color will be yellow, and your font size will be 25 pixels and your font family will be fantasy for example okay you might be thinking that it's not worked but let me show you that you can see if i just click over my welcome then it will going to be highlighted over here and if i click on the speed academy welcome to speed academy see that it is just targeting my id one over here but if I just click on this uh, to welcome to speed academy, it will go into target my speed uh, ID2 and you can see the uh, change in now. And you can do a most uh, interesting thing like uh, you can just make a pop up also. 
uh, uh, and many other things with this you can play with different different what are different things like this let me just show you one more example like that only if I can just uh, if I just disable it for example if I just grab my ID one over here and I just display it to the none you can see nothing is visible to me then nothing is visible uh, if you are all familiar with the display property and I have told you that display property is very very useful later on the video so now I can just display it in line and now you can see if I just target my welcome then it will be displaying but if I just click on different then it will be disappear so you can just work with the different steps like that only you can also make it position fix for example from the top of 500 pixels you can see right now it is not visible but if you click over it it might be oh sorry not top is that really working or not let me just check this out first then i will talk to you okay you can see that it is working like that only as fix is just starting from the top of the value because it's just working at your absolute value i make the real view on the position property differently so you can just separately you can watch that so you can just see if i just click over here then it is visible and if i click on welcome then my this will reappear so this is a very cool stuff you can work with and you guys i hope you will and you understand the concept of your this uh target uh pseudo effective target and why what with the use of this we will creating a light box in the next week upcoming video so guys i want you all to please understand the concept of the target because it is very very useful for the uh, upcoming videos that i will be making for you